Thanks to new phosphors and new light emitting control system, our PDP technology is the best solution for watching 3D pictures. At Panasonic Hollywood Laboratory, we gain the experience of 3D movie production, and this know-how is reflected in Blu-ray 3D standardization. The excitement of tournament will be shown live in 370 stores in France and more than 3,000 retail shops in up to 58 European territories. A plasma display, a self-illuminating device, has three key strengths. Wide viewing angles, precise color reproduction, and crisp moving picture resolution. To further improve our own 3D picture performance, we assign the following new technologies to decrease double images. Sandrine, do you think so uh, in the next uh, years the old tennis game will be broadcast in 3D? Should it be like that? Oh, it would be fun. It would be really fun for the spectators, ready. I think so. I think you all understood that uh, the new revolution is now ready after black and white TV, color TVs, HD TV. Now it's uh, 3D full HD TV. This is the first uh, broadcast 3D camera available uh, to the uh, consumer living room with uh, great TVs and Blu-ray players. So it's a complete solution. But in between uh, the broadcast camera and the consumer uh, TV, there is a need for a very good content. That's why we are here today and uh, I think this first Roland Garros 3D is one of the best sport content available in Europe. You know that, that's the beginning. We saw that in Hollywood there is a new production for movies, Avatar, Naturally and uh, others, that maybe more and more the creators want to, to think our their creations in 3D. Well, 3D is, 3D is obviously very exciting at the moment and it's, it's still going to take some time to get to market. The main thing to remember is that 3D TVs are a new TV set, so we need, we need consumers to go out and buy a new TV and that will take a few years. Um, it's starting this year, everybody, uh, everybody knows that there are new TVs in the market now, so we expect that there will be several million TVs sold in, this, in the course of this year. Um, but the really exciting stuff is going to be happening over the next five years. And in about five years' time, by the end of 2014, the major markets in Western Europe, in the US, in Japan, we expect those, t the, those households to have around 20 to 25 percent penetration of 3D TVs. And what that means is that a quarter of houses will have at least one 3D TV. I think in Europe it's uh, far above our expectation, like in the US, and uh, in the first days uh, most of the products were sold out, even in the, the first hours. So we are uh, working hard with the factories to uh, increase our forecast. Our expectation today is that by 2012 in Europe, 50%, 50 of large screens will be, 50, uh, will be 3D, 50%. Globally at the Panasonic, uh, we are estimating a minimum of 1 million units to be sold in this year. Uh, US represents nearly 40% of our sales, okay. and Japan uh, 20, and the rest uh, Europe. And I haven't added the uh, potential quantity from Asia, and South America, Africa, as yet. So, I say minimum one, mi one million units. That's, that's very 2D to 3D. Because, uh, no, no. Because uh, we can do that, but uh, we believe the quality is not uh, good. It's not good, but I think that this is good marketing way that you can, you can say yeah, but, uh, you can watch uh, normal TV in 3D. Promoting 3D quality is very, very important. That's why we talked about full HD broadcasting mm -hmm. and, uh, and here. And uh, this upscaling, artificial upscaling, Absolutely, yeah. is, it's not good. Práca 3D kameramana je dosť podobná ako v prípade 2D, no kameramani musia prejsť školením na tento spôsob realizácie záberov. Ako vidíte, 3D kamera je rozmerovo oveľa väčšia ako 2D kamera. Všetky 3D kamery boli umiestnené na ústrednom dvorci v Roland Garros a Panasonic tak vysielal obraz len z jedného miesta.
Výhodou bolo, že toto vysielanie bolo úplne zadarmo a Panasonic tak demonstroval, ako naozaj vyzerá 3D obraz. Ten mohli diváci sledovať v obchodných zastúpeniach spoločnosti Panasonic aj na Slovensku. Čtyri kamery boli umiestnené na masívnom podstavci. Priamo pri kameramanovi bol aj človek, ktorého úlohou bolo kontrolovať kvalitu záberov. Vďaka lokálnemu zastúpeniu spoločnosti Panasonic sme sa dostali aj na centrálny dvorec v Roland Garros. Toto sú miesta, kde sa naozaj hocikto nedostane. Videli sme priamo, ako sa natáča 3D obraz, prešli sme celý dvorec kompletne a sledovali sme aj prácu mobilného kameramana. A tu je spomínaná mobilná 3D kamera Panasonic, ktorá slúžila na zabezpečovanie netradičných záberov aj z okolie konania turnaja. Aj táto kamera sa však používa najčastejšie na statíve. V téme 3D kamier sa vrátime aj v ďalšom videu, ktoré tentoraz prinesieme zo Štokholmu. Zatiaľ dovidenia.